Welcome back everyone for another episode of 380 ACP Ballistics Gel Testing. Today we'll be having a look at the Federal Hydroshock, the famous Federal Hydroshock. It is an old bullet design that has proven itself well over the years and major calibers like 9mm and 45. But we're going to see how the 380 version stacks up when we're shooting it out of our little Ruger LCP with a 2 inch barrel. The 380 version is harbored in a nickel case and has a 90 grain hollow point. The average velocity I got out of this load is 962 feet per second, which is on the warmer end. But I'm a little suspicious about that large hollow point cavity getting plugged up by denim. Well, there's the only way to find out. Let's take it, tag our 10% gelatin blocks with four layers of denim, and we'll see what happens. Alright, we got through our four lasers in them very easily, through the first block, second block, and they all come to rest in the third blacker block. We have one just over 20 inches, we have the second to last at 19, and the last one, the one that penetrated the least, is at 17 and 3 quarters, which is a little surprising. I don't see any expansion here, but uh, let's go ahead and dig them out. But first, let's get a close-up at the wound tracks. Alright, we're having a look at the wound tracks. We have very little deviation. That very first shot seemed to have a little bit of upset. And if we measured it... If we measure the deviation, we're talking about a half inch of upset. Going about four to five inches inside the gel. It settles down, goes into the second block, and creates a very similar little bubble before it ends at the 20 inch mark. The other two have relatively unimpressive wound tracks. They zip straight through without creating too much damage and they stopped at the 17 and a half to 18 inch mark. Let's go ahead and dig these bullets out. All right, here are our three recovered projectiles. Two out of the three had plugs of denim in them which effectively plugged up the hollow point keeping it from expanding at these low velocities. Now, Federal Hydroshocks Shocks have been around for a long, long time they're very effective in major calibers, but it seems in 380 there just isn't enough velocity to expand these projectiles. But even so, we have adequate penetration. So, for the valid penetration or expansion or a good combination of both, it seems that the Federal Higher Shocks fail in one but not the other. Again, these tests are for your own edification, and I'll see you guys next time.